what is the difference between fusion, enrichment, and transmutation, as in the Philosopher's Stone? That was a packed question right there. So uh, fusion is just binding energy, uh, nuclei together, making taking a bunch of hydrogen and bringing it together and eventually making helium or something like that. And that's fusion. That's what's happening in the sun. Fission is what we do with commercial nuclear energy today. You're splitting uranium atoms and getting the energy from that, using that to boil water, make steam, and turn a turbine. Transmutation, that's where you're exposing something to neutrons, and it, once that, that nucleus add, uh, adds an additional neutron to it, usually it's going to be radioactive. And then it decays. When it does decay, usually it's going to decay into another element. And so you can make gold that way, right? You can, uh, you can actually use high energy particles and, and add additional protons into a nucleus, or you can knock protons out or knock alphas out, uh, depending on what you're hitting that nucleus with. The, the problem is that it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort to, to do transmutation so that even though we have made gold in a nuclear reactor through activation, it's never cost effective. And then even worse, it comes out radioactive. And so, you know, people aren't interested in it. But yes, you can do all of that. Um, but it's more cost effective right now just to make electricity. We haven't found ways to make it cost effective to make gold by transmutation in a nuclear reactor. So fun questions. Keep them coming. Have a good day. Bye.